Hello everyone, the Extra Notes version 2.6 is released with many new updates and notes. The first and one of the important update is that Extra Notes now has the scatter notes. These notes allow you to scatter the objects in nine different ways. You can use these notes uh, for the product visualizations or you can use these notes to build the environment. For example, if we want to scatter uh, this uh, torus in a circle, we can use this circle scatter node. You can also add these nodes uh, from this add menu. Okay. So if we add that to the torus, see it is distributed in a circle. These nodes has three sections for the settings. First is for the type. In this case, we have uh, for the circle. Then you have instance settings and transform settings. So if you understand the settings of one node, settings for the other nodes will be cleared to you. Okay. So in this case, uh, we can change the number of count. Uh, we can increase uh, the radius of this circle. And here you can change uh, the translations and rotations of the circle. Okay. And you can also trim the circle and also join the circle with the instances. In this section, you can basically control the settings related to the instance. Like you can add the selections where you want to instance objects. Uh, if you have multiple instances, you can use this option. Uh, pick instance and instance index. In the transform settings, basically you can control the transform settings of the instances. Okay. Here you can change the offset of the instances. Uh, these are the settings related to the rotations alignment of these instance along the normal or tangent and you can also change the local rotation however you can also add the custom rotation if you want for these instances and in the end you can change the scale of these instances this is how you can use these scatter nodes similarly you have this curve scatter node okay similar settings so this is really a uh, easy and fast way to scatter the objects uh, for your uh, scene. So the more details about the settings and uh, their feature is available in the documentations. Okay. So next update is for the fall of nodes. So for the fall of I have added these new four fall of nodes. So if we drag this into the scene, so with this curve factor, provide the fall of along the curve. Okay. So with this, you can basically define the fall of along the curves or the splines. And then you have the fall of based on the length of the curve, which is similar to the factor, uh, but it is based on the length. So it will be more clear if I add different length uh, to these curves and See, and if I add this one, uh, maybe add, see the difference. So this is with the length and this is with the factor. And they also have this all factor option. Basically, it add up the factor for each spline sequentially and provide the fall off. See, something like that. So here you have this kind of of similarly uh, for this length case then you have the curve island fall off so it provide the fall off along the islands of these curves okay similarly this is the mesh island fall off it provide the fall off for different meshes okay so now you have 24 fall off nodes and all these fall off nodes are freely available except this memory fall off node if you want to use uh, the free version of the extra nodes. Next update is related to the fields. Now the field nodes also provide the position attribute of the input geometry in this case this curve. So you have field, position, normal and tangent. Okay. This is also true for this uh, field from the mesh nodes. Okay, so you don't need to use the sample index node to get the position from the curve. In the field curl gradient node, I have added the surface diffuse normal option to get a smooth curl gradient field. And this is also true for other curl gradient nodes, which is available in the tracer as well as in the particle system. 
there is a new category added to the extra notes that is the effects right now it has three effects but more will come you have a goosebump effect laser effect and the laser text object if you add this uh, to this see it at the goosebump effect uh, let me show you the geometry of this plane so here you can change different uh, settings the documentation is available all these uh, effect nodes okay uh, similarly you can add the laser effect uh, to this geometry see you have also this laser text object it add uh, the effect to the text okay so you have this control for the text and here you have this laser effect node okay i have also made uh, tutorials about the goosebump effect and laser effect so next update is for the particle system nodes i have added these two nodes uh, force visualizer and velocity from the car and there is also update uh, for the particle system input node and particle system output node so let's see that so in this case uh, we have this emitter which is rotating like that in the particle system input node the major update is that the animated option is also available for the points in this case we are getting the points uh, from this and if we enable this animated option see it add the velocity to these points based on this motion so here you can define the emitter velocity and this is also available in the continuous mode something like that see suppose if the number of points are changing with time for that you have to use a different method let me show you that in this case the points are changing with time okay to use this continuous mode first we have to disable this animated option and we can get the velocity with the help of store animation node okay that we have to apply it to the base mesh before the points and we can get this velocity and apply it to the particles we can also make this meter velocity zero see in this way you can apply the velocity to the particles which are changing with time if you have fixed number of points you can use the inbuilt options of this particle system input node next is related to the this velocity from the curve in this case we are using the points from the curve see this is how they are moving and if you want to add the velocity based on the curve attributes like uh, tangent and normal you can use this velocity from the curve node and apply this velocity to the particles okay see now it is moving in the tangents as well as along the normal so here you can shift uh, only for the in the normal directions or only in the tangent directions or mix them you can also switch the tangent direction and here you can control uh, this random parameter and overall scale for the velocity so this is really handy to emit the particles from the curve are uh, based on the velocity which is also from the curve another update is that uh, for this particle system output node now you have this factor option so this is really important uh, update because it allow you to gradually shift from the dynamic uh, to the manual mode or from the manual mode to the dynamic so we can slowly make this dynamic calculation zero for the particles or we can apply to the particles so this is really a handy feature if you uh, want to add a special kind of motion to the particles manually uh, you can use this uh, feature next is the force visualization node it visualizes the force that is acting onto the particles so in this case the total force is acting on the particle which is based on the gravity and turbulence so if we increase the strength of the force we can see the effect of this force in real time we can see that see the turbulence force is now dominating and this node is provided the total force it is visualizing the force from this node as well as from this node so if you want to only see the force from this node you have to connect to this node okay you can also visualize the velocity of the particles uh, with this node and you can visualize the velocity or the force 
the particles that are not born or only the alive particles. The last update related to the particle system is that the stick rotation is now fixed. Okay, so if we go to the local mode, see they are perfectly sticked to the surface. They are uh, these arrows are not rotating about the stick axis. So that was the issue uh, with the previous version. Now they are perfectly uh, stick to this surface. Okay. And the next update is related to the tracer node. So I have added the flow mode to this field tracer node. Means if we add that to this object, see it has created this flow lines or field flow lines based on this noise texture. So this is much faster as compared to the curl gradient mode. So you can easily switch between the flow and the curl gradient. So this is like a noise flow which I have made the tutorial long ago. So this is the noise flow. So you can use any field to visualize this. And it also has new settings like surface diffuse normal, surface post projection and surface offset option means if you project this onto the surface and you can offset along the normal of the surface another update is related to other these tracer node is that we add that let's say here in the shading it output the frame the frame on which it created the instanced copy of the object okay so you can use this option to create really dynamic material uh, for this geometry tracer or for the path tracer or for the point tracer the last update is related uh, to the utility nodes i have added the new four utility nodes which is the curve helix node instance transform smooth and store random attribute so let's add this so this create the helix uh, based on the curve it will provide uh, different controls uh, for this and you can combine this uh, with this new file of nodes to create really nice uh, pattern uh, with this okay uh, let's increase and now you have this kind of pattern so i use this node in this uh, project uh, then you have the instance transform node allow you to uh, transform uh, the instances like translation rotation and scale of the instance you can control these strengths uh, with the file of nodes to create really nice animations of other instances uh, next is the smooth node it basically smooth the curve geometry or the mesh geometry okay see let me hide this car it also has advanced option uh, like this keep corners uh, we can also test this on to the plane and keep corner keep these corners if i disable this see this effect okay and the last is the store random attributes so with this node you can store the random attributes on six domains points edges faces mesh islands splines and instances so this is a really a fast way to add our random attributes for the geometry node setups or for the shader nodes so basically you can easily add variations in the materials using this a node these are the major updates related to the extra nodes i have also updated the documentation I have been working on different tutorials related to the extra nodes. The project files are already available on my Patreon page. Uh, you can get this preset from the Blender Market, from my Gumroad page or from my Patreon page. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Happy noding. Bye.